In this class, you will learn about the polygon command and learn how to sketch several kinds of geometries, such as equilateral triangles, squares, pentagons, hexagons, and others. Polygon command draws polygons from 3 to 1024 sides. You must input the number of sides, midpoint of the polygon, type, and its radius. As you have already learned in other classes, it is necessary to create a new layer to sketch new geometries. This is important as this helps you keep your file organized, as it is much easier to edit and identify items. Let's create a new layer named as Polygon and then make it current. When you first enable the Polygon command, it requests information on the number of sides in the new geometry. This number can vary from a minimum of 3 to a maximum of 1024. Then it requests information to define the polygon midpoint. This position can vary based on each drawing, if you wish, for example, to place it around a model. In this case, let's input the origin point in the xy plane as 0, 0 for this value. There are two options, inscribed in circle and circumscribed about circle. Find the polygon inscribed in circle first, and then we will sketch it about or around the circle. This means even though the radii are the same for both options, the polygons will be different sizes. Take a look at this example. Let's sketch the two 100 unit circumferences. Enable the polygon command, define six sides for the first circle, and then select the inscribed in circle option. The radius will be 100. Use the same values for the other circumference, but in this case select the circumscribed about circle option. See the difference? The radii are the same, but they are sketched differently. Then to object the polygons, you use the grips option. Select the geometry on its grips, and then you change the measurements as you wish. So in this class you have learned about several functionalities, which can be quite useful in your daily design tasks.